It's no fun being sick, so we all do our best to stay healthy. And today we're talking about boosting our immune system by adding food into your diet. I am with Sarah Baker. Now, Sarah, you say it all comes down to four categories of food that's gonna give us that extra boost that we need. And it all starts with one that we all know and love, and that's vitamin C. It sure is. Vitamin C, you've been hearing that since you were a kid, and it is true. So vitamin C specifically works to help boost and produce more white blood cells. And so when we have any sort of infection or virus that enters our system, our immune system then deploys all these cells to attack it like little warriors. So we can find vitamin C in citrus fruits, red bell pepper, broccoli, spinach, berries, and all sorts of fruits and vegetables. We all know about vitamin C, but the next category, a lot of us have never heard of, and that's selenium. Selenium, Adding yes. Adding that into your diet. Yes, so selenium is a trace mineral that's found primarily in the soil, so you will find selenium in mushrooms, in spinach, Brazil nuts, and then animal sources, you find selenium in eggs, tuna, and poultry. So selenium acts as an antiviral property, and, and it helps your cellular health. So it can even, on top of preventing colds and flu by boosting your immune system, it can prevent cellular damage that could eventually turn to disease like cancer as well. Wow, so always incorporate selenium into the diet. No matter what, you want to incorporate it, but especially if you feel like you may be getting the sniffles or something is coming on. Something that we all love to incorporate into our diet is flavor, but you're telling me that flavor is actually going to boost our immune system. It sure can. So in this little category, we have garlic, turmeric, and ginger. So garlic has specific infection fighting compounds. Add fresh garlic cloves to your recipes to get that extra antiviral property. And then with turmeric, turmeric is a super antioxidant because of its compound curcumin. Mm -hmm. So what that does, it acts as an anti-inflammatory property that can help with aches and pains that you get from the cold. And then finally, it's all about fermented foods and how they interact in our gut to keep us healthy. Majority of fermented foods contain probiotics. And when we have probiotics, we're healthy helping feed the healthy bacteria in our gut. So when you have a healthy gut and when you're protecting that part of your immune system, you're boosting all the different systems in your body, including your immune system. It all starts with your gut. Happy gut, healthy you. I That's know true. So great information. Uh, the takeaway here is adding any of these foods into our diet is gonna give our immunity a boost. Yep, that sure is. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Sarah. Of course. For more tips on making healthy food choices, head to our website, livinghealthytv.com.